So I was up at this place in the Berkshires fasting and I found out and I remember, and I'd been three days or so into the fast. So I was, I was pretty loopy anyway. You know, I was hallucinating and stuff. More so anyway, than normal. I was, I, even more than usual, you know? And so I'm walking along in the woods on my own because when you're fasting, you really have nothing to do or to look forward to, you know? I'm just sort of walking along and I'm pondering how, how am I going to play this role? How, how, how can I, how can I play, how can I play Babe Ruth? I, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I stopped and I was really in the middle of the forest, a path, and I just happened to look down and there was something buried in the ground beneath my feet. A Snickers and, bar. <laughs> well, ah, uh, you know, that, that, or a hot dog, right? <laughs> no, no. What it was, was I bent down and I dug around it and this is what I pulled out. Can you see this? Oh, oh my God. Oh my, it's a baseball, a baseball bat. bat. This is the very bottom of a baseball oh, bat, wow. right? Yeah. This was buried in the ground. And I put it in my hands. And then I put my other hand. Well, first I put it there because, because I'm naturally a right-handed swinger, right? But uh -huh. then I switched it. I put my right hand and I looped my pinky around the bottom, which is, of course, uh, what babe, the babe yeah. did. Yep, yep. And... And, and I put my hands on the rest of where the bat would be. And I, I took it back and I realized that it's all about the swing, man. If I can, and if I can perfect the swing, that's my portal into the babe. That's my window, my doorway into the babe Ruth. It's all about the swing. And from that moment on, that's what actually gave me the, you know, the, the audacity and the confidence to, to, to play the role. And um, to me, it's one of those incredibly magical things right. that, 